everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. In fact, I hope you are living your life blessed and highly favored because that is what you are. That is what you are. But you will not live that way, nor will you see the fruits of that if you don't believe it. If you don't believe it. In order to believe something, though, you have to have the knowledge, don't you? You have to have the understanding, and it has to make sense to you before you can even allow that to assimilate into your systems and into your awareness. You have to know it, how it is that it works, who it is that you are, in order to live a blessed and highly favored life. So guess what? I have a whole day off today. <gasps> wow. Rare. And I wanted to get up and make this video talking to you about who it is that you are, how it is that you do, and what happens because of what you do in our wholly responsive universe. But before I do that, I just wanna invite any and all of you who have not yet subscribed to my channel to drop down and subscribe so that we can stay connected. And also there's a little bell thingy right there, and if you click on it, that means that you'll get notified when I upload a video or go live and I'm planning to go live much more. Well, I've only done it twice or once. So like actually go live. I've been planning to do that in this year to come. So stay connected so that when I do come up, we can talk to each other and I can get to know you a little bit more and you can hear what it is that I've got to share. I wanna start by just announcing that I am the founder of a spiritual community called The Lightworkers Lab. You can go to Facebook, you can type in the Lightworkers Lab in the search bar. You will find our group. You can ask to join. It's perfectly free. There's always something fantastic going on in the lab. We have readers and healers and teachers and coaches and inspirers. Somebody's up usually every single day live, ministering, being of service, and again, all free to members. And if you're looking for your spiritual community and truly a wealth of spiritual resources, you want to become a member of the lab. So go to Facebook, search for us, oh, or go to thelightworkerslab.com. So I started this video by talking about being blessed and highly favored. And saying that, that is how we ought to be living. I believe it. I think that's our birthright. I think joy is our birthright. I think success, well-being, love relationships of a high quality, that's all our birthright. I feel like we're entitled to that. Well, I don't feel that. I know that because that's the nature of source energy and that's the nature of creation. See, I've said a few times recently, haven't I? that the root of all suffering and truly the root of living a life that is less than or in a state of lack is a fundamental misunderstanding or misidentification of who it is that we are. And I've talked some about who it is that we are actually, our divine nature. And if you haven't seen some of those teachings, go back into the archives. They're pretty recent and I think they're, they're really good. But I wanted to break it down even further in this video. And I wanted to talk about the difference between energy, vibration, and frequency. Energy, vibration, and frequency. Because out here in these new age streets, we got people using these terms interchangeably as if they're the same thing or with the wrong meanings. And I want us all to be really clear about what these things mean and what their function is and also what they're actually doing and how they're existing. Energy is consciousness. And you, at your most fundamental level, you at your, more, at your most whole level, like who it is that you really are as a spiritual and a divine being, you are energy, which is consciousness. I like to call this the I am. Well, so did Moses. Moses called it the I am. And we have a lot of great teachers out there and avatars who call this the I am, the self-determining one, the one who exists. The one who is here, I am present, I am. That's who it is that you truly are. That is your energy. So your energy is the substance of the totality of who it is that you are as a consciousness or a soul complex. Your vibration is not your energy. Your vibration is what happens when your energy intends and then begins to animate or really 
to move around. For example, in the beginning of creation, let's take it all the way back to the Big Bang. Source energy, for whatever reason, decided to create the universe and to bring about creation. Previous to that decision and then that vibration, which is the form, the action of it, there was just source, I assume. I wasn't there. I'm, I am old, though. I should remember, but I wasn't there. There was just source existing as the consciousness, as the energy. But then source said, I want to animate. I want to create. And so it was, and creation came into being. And creation happened as a result of how the energy moved and how the energy played and how the energy created. That's what vibration is. It is the movement of the consciousness. It is consciousness taking form, doing something, creating something, being something, thinking something, Feeling something, that's all a vibration. But it's the consciousness, right, that underpins it, which has first intended to move. And therefore, there is creation, there is vibration, there is creation. Last but not least, we have the signal, we have the frequency. The frequency is not the vibration, the frequency is not the energy. The frequency is the result, the cast off effect, if you will, of the vibration, which is the substance of the consciousness in movement and creation. As the consciousness vibrates, as the consciousness creates, as the consciousness exists in a specific way, there is a cast off effect that happens, a transmission, if you will, that is expressed out from the consciousness and the form. That's the signal. And what makes the signal also, we could call again, this the frequency. So important is that the signal is magnetic. The signal always attracts back to it passively. I mean, it's in other words, it's just always happening no matter what. It's always happening in the background. It's always happening in the foreground. You don't have to intend for it to happen. You don't have to tell it to happen. It's always magnetically happening. The signal dictates the further experience of the consciousness. What do I mean by that? The experience the consciousness is having is the life, it's the creation, it's the vibration. The signal that's transmitted as a result of the quality of that vibration or that existence is what attracts back conditions, people, conditions, uh, excuse me, experiences, architecture, relationships, states of being based on the quality of that transmission. So all three of these things, energy, vibration, and frequency or signal work in concert with each other. They are always happening because the consciousness always is. The consciousness can never not be. It is. And the consciousness moves. You know, the Bible says uh, God was over the waters, moved over the waters and within the firmament and so on and so forth. That's that's actually sacred text telling us that God moved, he vibrated, he took a form. And then upon taking this form, he transmitted and other things came into being as a result of that movement. You here and now listening to me on YouTube or Facebook or wherever you're hearing me, you are a pure consciousness. A pure consciousness that has decided to create and to play and to exist, therefore to vibrate. And the form in which you're vibrating is as a human being with your name and your attributes, with your wellness or lack of wellness, with your circumstance and position here in this 3D reality. That's you. That's your vibration. The quality of your existence dictates the signal that you send out into the responsive universe. And see, here's where it's important because most of us are not connected to the reality of the pure consciousness, the I am. Most of us are not connected to the fact that the signal is, is the song of the existence. It's the cast off effect of the existence. So we're not mindful, therefore, of, of the existence. We're not mindful, therefore, of the creation, how we're moving, how we're doing, how we're playing, 
how we're suffering. We're not mindful. We're just reacting. We're just here vibrating. And so therefore, we don't understand that we are the creators of our universe. See, when we finally understand how it works, then we can start to manipulate the formula. Now, manipulate or manipulation tends to have a negative connotation. And no, that's not what I mean. I mean, we can start playing with the formula, moving it around, playing with the vibration, which is the, which is the quality of your existence. If you're unhappy and you're vibrating in that, meaning you're feeling it, you're thinking it, you're saying it, you're doing it, you're perpetuating it, you're not intentional in it. This is your consciousness's experience and creation. If you're not happy, then not only are you not happy, but you're creating passively more unhappy for you in the future. Now, I dare say you probably don't want that, right? You don't want to perpetuate your problems. You don't want to perpetuate the existence that you're not necessarily satisfied with or even happy with. And so for you and for me, we have to change the vibration. We have to change the manner in which we exist. What are the fundamental building blocks of existence? Well, they are contained in the triune nature of the human being. We are triune. We are body, mind, and spirit. Three parts which make up a whole. And these three parts separately are moving. Body, it's moving. Aren't we moving? The body is in a state of wellness or unwellness. The body is in a state of movement or non-movement. The body is vibrating. Likewise, so is the mind. The mind's vibration, of course, are the thoughts. It's the narratives. It's the belief systems. It's the ingrained patterning. Those vibrate at a certain level and often give life to emotion and feeling. We start thinking something, right? It's negative. We're thinking about that person who just treated us wrong. And and then we start feeling that. We start getting angry, feeling an energy of anger, frustration, sadness, and so on and so forth. That's a vibration. That's the substance or the quality of your existence. And then you have the third component of the triune nature, which is the spirit. The spirit. The spirit is spirit, little s. Spirit, big S, is source energy. It's also the I am consciousness. It's super consciousness. Spirit, in terms of the triune nature, is small s. It's that part of us that we house within us that is always connected, no matter what, to that which is higher than we are, that which is bigger than we are. It is always connected, no matter what, to the higher self and also to source energy. Depending upon our spiritual state, we may be vibrating at a really high level or at a really low level. People who vibrate spiritually at a low level are those people who would say that they don't believe, they don't see, they don't feel, they feel cut off, they feel pessimistic, they feel cynical, they don't explore, they don't journey within their spirituality, they live secular lives in which they're just here in this 3D reality. That's kind of a dead spirit. That doesn't mean the spirit can't be activated. Of course it can. It's it's always within you. But it's kind of a dormant spirit that's not connecting. It's not picking up the phone of that connection. That's what the spirit is. It's an umbilicus. It's a channel from the 3D reality of you, Crystal Ann Compton, all the way to the I am Crystal Ann Compton. The spirit is the main line that allows us to connect, to talk to the I am, to talk to the archangelic, to talk to source energy, and also to have source energy respond. And the I am send energy down to us. We call these downloads. That whole thing is facilitated through small s spirit. It's your end of that telephone call. It's your ability to pick up a phone. That's what your spirit is. Do you pick up that phone? I don't know. What's the vibration of that existence, that spiritual existence? What we also need to understand is that each component of the triune human, body, mind, and spirit, all which vibrate on their own, vibrate together and emit one signal. That signal is informed uh, informed by 
all three separate parts and then all sub signals within those separate parts but creates the whole signal of the existence this existence and this incarnation this life this crystal and compton my signal is comprised of my parts which are comprised of other parts which are all vibrating and that's powerful why because any manipulation or any modification within one of the triune components, or even within one of the sub-signals within a triune component, affects the whole. You can change something in your physical body. This is what I'm saying. You can change something in your physical body, and it will ultimately impact and change what's happening in the mind and in the emotions. You can change the mind. Maybe get negative or get positive. And that will ultimately begin showing up in your physical body. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thoughts. Thoughts are the basis for all illness and wellness. Change your mind and also impact your spirituality. When we are of a higher vibration, when we are positive, we are drawn to be more spiritually connected. We are drawn to explore. We are drawn to pick up that phone and dial in source energy or the I am or the cosmos. That happens because we change something in the mind. It's all synergetic. It all works together. All of this creates one signal and that's your vibration. That's the song of your incarnation. That's the song of this iteration of who it is that you are and who is it that you are. Well, you're the I am consciousness, you're the energy. The vibration is just the form. The vibration is the incarnation. The vibration is the life. The vibration is named Crystal Ann Compton. That's the form that my I am consciousness, super consciousness decided to take. And that form is existing at a certain quality. And I am in control of that quality. My I am consciousness knows I'm in control of all of this and haven't all the avatars told us this as well. Ha didn't Jesus tell us this as well? You are all gods. Didn't Jesus say, if I can do it, you can do it. We are in control of our vibration. We are in control of our thoughts. Now, do you feel out of control in your thoughts? Do you have an endlessly looping negative narration going on? Cool, work in your body. Bring your body to a higher state of vibration. What does that mean? Well, there's a lot of different ways to do that. First, stop damaging your body. Stop doing things that you know damage the body, whether that's drugs, booze, cigarettes, I don't know. But fix it. Stop hurting yourself. Another thing you can do is start helping yourself. Start eating the right foods. Start drinking lots of water. Start getting healthier. The healthier you are in the physical body, the higher the body signature. Now, this is not to disillusion those of us who are sick or unwell or who have, for whatever reason, found themselves in a state of malady or illness. That doesn't mean you can't reach a higher vibration. It just means for you, you maybe work more in the mind or you work more in the spirit. So it flows into the body. But... If you're stuck in the trap of your mind, work in the body, work in the spirit. If you're stuck in the trap of the body, maybe you're overweight, maybe you're tired, maybe you are sick, work in the component of the mind and work in the component of the spirit. And if you're stuck in the component of spirit, if you're stuck feeling blocked, cut off, like you're not connected, work in the body and work in the mind and your spirit will be informed as a result. And then the entire signal changes. In specific, the signal raises, the frequency raises. The quality of the frequency raises. The higher the frequency, the closer to God, period. The higher the frequency, which is based on the vibration, which is the existence of the life, it's the substance of the life, the higher the vibration, the closer to God. And here's the cool thing about that. Are you listening? The closer we are to God, the more we become changed to be like God, because that is the nature of energy. There is no stronger, more powerful, divine energy than God energy. There is no more dominant, 
powerful energy in all of the universes and all of the spaces that exist outside of universal architecture, these spaces which are unspaces, there is no other energy that is stronger, higher, more powerful than source energy. Work on your three components, work on your vibration, and it raises and you get closer to all that good source energy. And because it's so strong, because it's so dominant and because we change the closer we are to it, the more the vibration continues to raise. This is why I tell my students, meditate. Meditate even if you don't want to meditate because meditation puts you in proximity to source energy. It gives source an opportunity to sit down next to you on this proverbial couch of life and just hang out. You get to take in and bask in the dominant energy and allow that to change body, mind, and spirit, the whole signal. And what happens when the signal is of higher quality? What happens when the frequency, which is the cast off effect, it's the song of the existence of the life. What happens when that is of a higher quality, more ascended, more like source? Well, remember, the signal is magnetic. And the universe in which we exist is responsive. And the universe says, I receive this signal and I give back unto you that which is a match for it. And now we are attracting back into our lives relationships, conditions, and experiences that are of a higher, more blissful and joyful vibration. Keeping us, therefore, at the higher vibration. It's easier, isn't it, to stay high vibration when your life is high vibration. When your life has been divined, excuse me, designed very specifically to be high vibration, your friends are high vibration. They are encouragers. They are supporters. They are teachers. You work at a high vibration job. You're living your purpose. Your physical wellness is exuberant. You have energy. All that high vibration attracts more good things into the life. This is why they say all good things come from God. Really, all good things come from the quality of the vibration, which is signaling this responsive, cooperative universe. If you're unhappy, change your vibration. You can't change your energy. Somebody will say, oh, your energy's low. Change your energy. Get high. You can't change your energy. Your energy is your I am. It's your I exist. It is the super consciousness that stands outside of this incarnation, outside of this dimension, and outside of this universe. But you can change your vibration. You can change your mind, body, and spirit all at the same time or separately. It's all synergetic. It all works together. This is how you change your signal. You are blessed and highly favored. Blessed and highly favored. You are all gods. You're divine. You're the captain of this magical ship. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? How do you want to play? The universe asks you. How do you want to play in this landscape of a life that you chose to create? It's all up to you. And now that you understand how it works, you can start working with the different parts. You can start connecting to your energy. You can start picking up that phone, right? The little phone that you have, small s spirit, and making the phone call, doing your meditation, doing those things that spiritually connect you, getting out into nature, hugging a tree, whatever it is that gets you spiritually connected, do that more. That's the key. That's how you do it. You are blessed and highly favored. In this life, and in this world, there's a lot of moving parts. And this dimension, not unlike your signal, is also magnetic and it can trip you up. I call it sticky. It's easy to get stuck here, isn't it? It's easy to get stuck in the anger and in the condition. It's easy to get stuck in relationships, isn't it? That's not who you are. That's just a result of your signal. You are blessed and highly favored. Have your consciousness intend to change the vibration, which changes the quality of the frequency. And voila, we have a whole new life. Blessings.